going to start drawing from top view. So go to view panel, click this drop down arrow and select top. Make sure to work on parallel projection. So click this drop down arrow and select parallel. I'm going to start drawing the square and I could use rectangle command inside the draw panel. So select rectangle, click anywhere on the screen, enter 40 inches, comma, and enter 40 again. And apply fillet. So inside the modify panel, select fillet command, go down to the command prompt, click radius option, and the radius here as uh, shown here is 2.5, so enter 2.5. And go back to the command prompt click multiple option click this line this line here and enter I'm just gonna draw a line from midpoint to midpoint it's easier to locate the center if I have a line and the distance between this pulley line, which is this one here, and the pulley line here is 0.5, so offset, so offer offset, enter, and enter 0.5, click this pulley line, and click outside that pulley line. I'm going to copy this one, because I'm going to use that later. Copy selection, move it here, and maybe... Yeah, that would be enough. All right. So the next thing to draw are the beads. And the size of the beads is, or the size of the bead is 0.5 for radius. So inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select spear. Click anywhere here. Enter 0.5 for radius. And move the spear from center. And click that in point. Before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, and 3D object snap. Now, I'm going to array this bead. So, I'm going to type array and select array path. Select the object you want to array. Right click to enter and select path curve, select this one and the distance between these uh, two bits from center to center is 1.26. So go to the ribbon and change the 1.5 to 1.26 and enter again as shown here. This is 1.26. I'm going to change this to shaded with edges to show you. All right. And the next thing to do is draw the edging, which is this one here. This one. And the radius for that is 0.5. So I'm going to draw a circle. So C for circle, come on. Click anywhere on the screen and enter 0.5. I'm going to use uh, sweep command. So inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select sweep. Select the object you want to sweep. Right click to enter and select the path. Enter again. I'm going to extrude this pulley line and the thickness for that is 10 as shown here so extrude click this object enter move your cursor upward for 10 units enter 10 I'm just gonna change this to x-ray so it's easier to see now I'm gonna move this one select the object move from midpoint of that line to the midpoint of that line it's easier to snap when you have a line as guide 
Okay, I'm going to bring this to front view. I'm just going to turn off the grid. I'm going to mirror the beads and the edging. So type in I for mirror command. Right click to enter and window the beads. Right click to enter. And uh, from midpoint, move your cursor sideways. And just follow the green dash line. Click anywhere as long as it's straight. And select no. I'm gonna change this to realistic. There you go. Now the next thing to draw is this cushion here. And this time I'm gonna use um, mesh box. So click this uh, arrow first and um, enter 8 here for length and 8 for width and 4 for height and click OK. And select mesh box. First change the direction of your Z axis Victor. You can either go to home and click this one or, move, or you can just go directly here. Click the end of the Z, Z direction or Z line and move it upward. There you go. So go to mesh, mesh box, click anywhere here and enter 40, comma, 40. And the height for that is also 10. I'm just gonna move this one. Move somewhere here. And change this to 2D wireframe. I'm gonna draw a line so that it's easier to attach later. So L for line command from endpoint. In point here. Wait. Okay, line from in point to in point here. There you go. All right. Now inside the selection panel, click this drop down arrow and select vertex. Click this one, the center here or intersection. This one here, this one, and this one. And move, right click, select move, and move it upward for four units. So enter four. Vertex again. And click this intersection here. This one. Right click and select move. Click anywhere here as base point and move it downward for one. All right. So inside mesh, select smooth more. Click the object. Again. And again. Now I'm going to draw the button. So go to home. Inside modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select cylinder. And uh, click anywhere. And the diameter is 1. So type D first for diameter option and enter 1. And move it downward or upward for 
0.25. So go to solid, click fillet edge, and go down to the command prompt, click radius option, and enter 0.25. And click this edge here, and enter twice. Move this one from center of the face here. See that blue color? Just snap. And snap this indentation here. Hard, hard, hard to snap. There you go. Let me check first. Maybe to the wireframe. All right. Move. Just want to make sure I snap the... Okay, center of the face to this in point, copy from center to, I'm going to bring this to top view. Maybe this will work better. All right, copy from center to this in point or intersection here this one here this one this one here i hope i am not s snapping the bottom but uh, we can always move that okay let's see oopsie Okay, hard to see. What I'm going to do is bring this one, this one, move from the center of the face. upward and snap it to this one here let me check there you go all right okay move select this one move Shift right click and select mid between two points. I'm gonna snap. Now I'm holding the center of the object. It's just that because it's mesh and all the snapping points are active, so it's harder uh, compared to solid object. I could always change this to solid, but the protruding curves are not as nicer. So, anyway, and paste it to the shift right click and select midpoint. Click that line, midpoint of that line. All right, I'm gonna change this to realistic. That's better. Now I'm gonna apply materials. So type materials. And I'm gonna use, you can go to Autodesk library, click this drop down arrow and select, where is it, fabric. I'm selecting burlap, which is already here. So just click this arrow here. And there is burlap. I'm going to use this one here. And this one here. And go to visualize and adjust the exposure setting. Okay, click this drop down arrow. And just drag this one. There you go. To make it brighter. Union or combine these uh, two objects this one here three actually this edge and this edge now apply another material so select click this drop down arrow and select metal and uh, use this one curtain wall stainless steel click that and you can see it's here. I'm just going to purge the one that are not 
use. All right. So click this uh, arrow. And what I can do is hide this one and this one. Right click, hover over isolate and select hide objects. Now I'm going to select everything and select this um, and click this one here to apply and I could adjust the image I can make it like um, non-metallic and less shiny there and close right click anywhere Hover over isolate and bring back the hidden object. So in object isolation. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to draw. I'm going to close that one first. I'm going to draw the legs. And here's the leg detail. So I'm going to bring my drawing to Southwest Isometric. And make sure my Z axis vector is pointing upward. You can either go to coordinates panel, click the Z axis vector and bring it upward or just go directly to your UCS and click that in point and just bring it upward. Make sure it's straight. Follow that green dash line or you can turn on your auto mode and click there. All right. So inside the modeling panel, select cylinder. And the diameter for the first one here is force type D for diameter option and enter four. Bring your cursor upward or downward and the thickness is two. So type in two, enter. So this one here. Now go to solid, select fillet edge go down to the command window click radius option and enter one for radius click this edge and this edge enter and enter again now cylinder again click anywhere here type d for diameter option and enter 2.4 enter and the thickness is 0.6 as shown here so this is the one we're drawing this one here thickness is 0 0.6 2.4 is the diameter and the radius is 3 so fillet edge again go down to the command prompt click radius option and enter 0 0.3 click this edge and this edge enter twice now I'm gonna move this one move Click the face of the object. You can see that blue color as you hover over. Click that. Snap that. And snap that uh, center, that blue color here. There you go. And you're going to draw another one. So cylinder. Type D for diameter option. And this time it's 3. And the thickness is... Wait. The thickness is 1. Okay, again, cylinder. D for diameter option. Enter 3. Enter. Bring your crosshair or cross cursor upward for 1 unit. And uh, fillet edge. And uh, radius here is uh, 5. Okay. Fillet edge. Click radius option, enter 0.5, enter, click this edge and this edge, enter twice. Move this one, move and snap the center of the face and click the center of the face here and the blue color will, will appear, snap. The next one has a diameter of 0.5 
and the height is 0.6 or thickness. So cylinder again, type D for diameter option and enter 1.2 and the height is 0.6. So go to fillet edge, click radius option, enter 0.5. And just do the bottom part. Enter twice. Move this one from center to the center of the face. Now I'm gonna combine everything. So use union command. You can get the union command from here or home. And inside the solid editing panel, select Union Command and just window the whole thing. Now I'm going to draw a square with the view to bottom. And the distance between each leg is 30 units. So I'm going to select Rectangle, click anywhere here. Enter 30, comma, 30. I'm going to move this one from center to the midpoint here. Well, it disappeared. I'm just going to hide this um, mesh box here. Hover over isolate and hide object. Now I could move this one from center to the midpoint here. There you go. And bring this to bottom view. Move. Snap the face, center of the face. And attach it to the corner here. Copy. From in point to in point. Another in point. An in point. I'm going to check. Bottom. Yeah. I'm just going to erase that pulley line or square. This line here, another line, there's another line here, this line, delete, this one here, there's another pulley line here. Delete, right click, hover over isolate here and object isolation to bring back the hidden object. And there you go. I'm going to apply materials for the legs. So materials. I'm just going to select this one. And I'm going to select this material here. Sign. I think we are done. I'm going to change this to perspective. I'm going to maximize this one. Put that away to make it closer. There you go. And I think I'm done. Thanks for watching. And make sure to click that subscribe button and bell icon to get notified. And see you again.